द मास्टर रूल रिलेटेड टू अवर डायरेक्ट इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच इन दैट वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड वॉज द इन द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच द इफ यू हैव द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच एंड इन दिस रिपोर्टेड स्पीच इफ यू हैव द सेकेंड पर्सन राइट द सेकेंड पर्सन ऑफ द रिपोर्टेड स्पीच विल चेंज एज पर द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्टेड वर्क राइट एंड सेकेंड पर्सन वी नो इज वॉट इट इज यू योर एंड इट कुड बी योर्स राइट now object of the reported verb means in this reported verb we will have the object so generally the structure is what we know you will have subject plus verb then comma open quotations then subject then verb and then the other words will be there right and full stop or any punctuation will definitely be inside it now when i'm talking about that the if this subject is the or anywhere if you have the second person in the reported speech it will change as per the object so which means in this reported verb we should have the object so here something like this subject plus verb plus object kind of a situation will be there and then here we'll have subject verb other words and then the close quotations so here this you will change as per this object right so it could be like this she says to some object will be there it should be she says to me right yes it should be she says to me comma if you say open quotes you are my friend close quotes quote so now in this what will happen this to me is there so whenever it is she says to me right so this says will change to tells so it could be she says to me she said to me or else it could be what she says she said or they say so all this says will change to tell said will change to told and say will change says will change to tells so in this it will be what and this to will be removed and directly this me will be there so we will say what she she tell me or she tells me or it could be she told me in all these conditions we have seen that to has been removed over here when you are writing it into the indirect speech and then remaining we have already changed you will change as per you you will change as per me so me it is the subject form so this is the object form the object for subject form of me is what now here this is my is the first person possessive so first person changed to depends upon the subject she is there so she will change to i am her instead of your it will be what her friend because is this my will take the number of the first person this is the first person first person will take the number of the subject so first person my will change as per the she she ka the possessive form will be her friend so she tells me i am her friend she tell me i her i am her friend or she told me that i am her friend and all these places that will be the common thing so you understand that whenever it is the object form to plus me is there when you will change it that she says like says said or say will change to tell told and tells we will remove to and then directly the object will be coming rest all the rules remain same so it's very important tell tells told when these things will come in your indirect speech it is what that when you have the subject verb plus object in the reported verb so in that case in the indirect speech we will remove to and we'll keep only the directly the object part plus say says and said will change to tell tells and told clear now let's move ahead to the next slide i'll give you some more uh, rules related to change of words which we have already done in the previous slide but uh, since understanding is very important and 
you have to memorize certain things so i'll just repeat certain things like how you can change the other words which are there in your slides right so the next slide please now we discussed about the change of other words so for this i can say we can make one table like this we'll have the direct and this will be your indirect now what happens if something like this is there in the direct so if you have this indirect it will change to that these will change to those remember that then now will change to then here will change to there then when you have yesterday in the direct speech it will change to the previous day the previous day or the day before both of them are correct now in the test they can sometimes give you the chance to choose between the two in your answer choices one says the previous day the other says the day before if both of them are given you always go with the previous day clear now today will change to that day tonight will change to that night tomorrow will change to the next day or the following day now again over here also in your answer choices if both of them are given the next day is also given the following day is also given in that case always go with the next day give preference to the next day clear if it says that you have the day after tomorrow if you have the like the day after tomorrow then it will become two days later right now little bit more we can write over here this is direct this is indirect so in the direct if you say is the day before yesterday if it is day before yesterday it will be two days before if it is uh, the last night or day or month anything dot 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 it could be the previous previous day the previous month the previous night dot dot anything if you say the next day when it says next day it could be next day next month next year next week anything so in that case it will change to the following day month year right so this is how the change of other words will be taking place read the slides at least two to three times try to go through and then whenever the words are there you try to change them appropriately so i am pretty sure now you know when to use tell tells and told right there is a particular condition when we have to use and how you will change these other words fine now the next important thing what we have to learn is about how the tense will change so till now we have discussed about the reported verb how the the reported verb will affect the subject or the first person second person and the third person in the reported speech how the other words will be changing when we will get tell told tells right now the next thing is how the verb will change right so when the verb changes means it will be change in the tense right so focus on what i am explaining i'm sure the direct and direct speech will become pretty simple for you next now what we have to discuss is change in tense when i say change in tense means the verb will be changing that's a very basic thing so in this what we have we have subject plus verb comma open quotations then you'll have subject plus verb plus the other words then the full stop then the close quotations will be there so this is our reported verb this all these thing is our reported speech right now this verb could be in any tense the verb could be in the we have three tenses we have present past and future so we know that the verb could be into any of these three it could be in present past or the future tense now what happens in each tense that is what we have to learn and understand now one very simple and the easy thing what i want you to understand is when i say this verb could be in any tense that means any tense it could be yes now if you see that the reported verb if the tense of the reported verb i'm talking about the reported verb 
if your reported verb is in the two tenses either it is in the present tense or it is in the future tense right in that case let this verb be in any tense and in this case your reported speech may the verb is of any tense of could be of any tense whatever the tense is there there will not be any change right so no change will be there in the verb of reported speech when we are changing it to indirect speech so what's the rule number 1 very important for you to understand it says if the reported verb is in the present tense or the future tense let this verb of reported speech be in any tense anything any tense it is whatever the tense we have done there will not be any change of verb there will not be any change of verb tense we can say that will remain same whatever is there in the direct speech the same thing will continue in your indirect speech also let's see some examples let us do see the first example if i say that he says he says comma open quotes i was in the army full stop close quotations ho gaya right what happens is if this says is there this says is in the present tense right so it will be what he says the same thing will come we know we can remove this close quotations and the comma and instead of these two we will put that right now we know i i will change as per the this is the first person so this first person will change as per the subject of the reported verb this is he so it will be what i'll remove i and i'll put he now this is in the was why i will remain was because says is in the present tense the verb will not be changing so he says that he was in the army there is no change clear now let's do one more question the second example if i say if he says he says or we can say dinesh dinesh says to ramesh comma open quotes i shall or we can say i will help you if you help me full stop close quotations right now we want to change it if you want to change the thing what you will do now dinesh says to ramesh we know that this says is in the present tense so it will be what dinesh says to ramesh right we'll remove this comma and quotations we'll put that i have taught you that now this i is the first person it will change as per the subject so subject is what dinesh so dinesh is what dinesh is a male right so we will put what we can put is we will not say dinesh again because noun is wrong so we'll say he will help will remain same because it is in the present tense the verb will not change so he will help now you is the second person you changes as per the second person ramesh so ramesh is also boy so it will be what he will help him if you again will change as per the object if this will again take the name of the ramesh instead of ramesh you can put again the ramesh if he helps me is the object form and it depends upon the dinesh so it will change as per the dinesh it will be if he helps him clear so the dinesh said says to ramesh that he will help him if he helps him clear so you saw the tense of the verb is not changing and in these two sentences we have revised all the changes in the pronouns and all what we have discussed right now here one more mistake what we have done is it is says to ramesh is there so this is the error over here which going through in the past we forgot right generally students do that only we have clearly told that when 2 plus ramesh is there this 2 will not come so instead of says it will be tell so dinesh tells ramesh right so it will be dinesh tells ramesh that he will help him so this is something which is important generally people will copy because this is what we have copied throughout but then when the object is given 
we will not copy we will change says to tells say to tell said to told and this two will be removed in the indirect so what's the point of this if the reported verb if the reported verb is in the present tense or the future tense then the te tense of the reported speech let it be in any tense it will not change clear now the next thing what i want you to know is if the see if what if if some other tense is there we have discussed that we'll have the subject plus verb then we'll have comma then the open quotations then we'll have subject plus verb plus the other word then the full stop then the close quotations now if this reported verb this is our reported verb if this reported verb is in the past tense right and the verb of the reported speech either it is in the present tense or the future tense if it is only in the present tense or the future tense whatever tense it is the tense of the reported speech will change as per the corresponding past right so corresponding past the verb changes when you convert it to the uh, reported speech which means if you have the first one if the reported speech verb if this is the reported speech verb is in the simple present then it changes into the simple past in the indirect speech right second thing is what so which means what if it changes into the simple present will change to the simple past if the second condition will be what if it is in the present continuous then it will change to past continuous which means it could be e slash r plus verb plus ing form this will change to was slash were plus verb plus ing form right now the third thing what you should remember is if it is in the present perfect so if it is in the present perfect what will be the verb it will be has plus have will be there over here this will change to the past perfect right past perfect may what you will have you will have the had the fourth tense what it could have is the you can have the present perfect continuous tense so if you have the present perfect continuous in this what will be there you will have has plus have plus been will be there right so this will change to the past perfect continuous that means what it will change to had been plus the third form of the verb right so what we understand the simple present will change to simple past present continuous will change to past continuous which means is plus r is r or verb plus ing will change to was verb verb plus ing present perfect if you have that means you will have has and have so this has and have will change to had if you have the present perfect continuous it will change to past perfect continuous which means has and has have plus been will change to had been clear another thing which you have to remember is if you have will it will change to would if you have shall this will also change to would only i can say 98% times shall will change to would but rarely it will change to should it is rare but mainly it will change to would only these are the six points which you have to remember when the reported verb is in the past tense right and the reported speech may the tense is either the present tense or the future tense clear so let's see one example over here it says like he said comma open quotations i am listening to the radio full stop now here what we see is this is the reported verb this is in the past tense so it will be what he said now this comma and quotations will change to that he said that i will change as per he so i is the subject pronoun he is also there so we will remove this and we'll put he am listening will change because this is the past tense am listening will change to he 
was listening to the radio full stop or we can say he said to priya comma open quotations i am doing my work full stop close quotation so it will be what he said to this is the object is given so this said to will get removed said will change to told he and priya will come as it is he told priya that i will change because this is the first person it will be dependent on he he am doing will change to he was doing my is the possessive form of the first person again it will change as per he so he was doing his work full stop you see like whatever i have explained you if you just follow the steps one after the other easily you will get your answers clear i hope now the narration or direct indirect is becoming little easy for you let's move ahead to the next slide now whatever i have explained you the same thing they are trying to tell over here so let's revise it will be a revision and uh, let's go through this slide right so in the first part of the sentence right so when we have the reported verb if the reported verb belongs to past tense the tense of the reported verb will change this is what we have discussed but if the first part of the sentence that means if the reported verb belongs to present or the future tense the tense of the speech will not change very simple we have already done the examples also so direct speech if you say he said i am happy said is in what it is in the past tense so that means this tense will definitely change so he said you have removed comma and quotations and we have put that he said that i will change as per he so it will be he m will change to was he was happy the tense of the reported speech has changed now if the direct speech says he says i am happy now says is in the present tense and we have already learned that if it is in the present or the future tense the tense of the reported speech will not change it will remain same so it will be what he says that he is happy it is still remaining in the same thing now the change of am to is is there because am comes only with i now here i has changed to he so obviously the singular verb has to be is only now another point which is very important for you to remember very very important that if the reported verb is in the past tense and the reported speech is talking about the habitual action or it is talking about some idiom or a phrase or some universal truth historical fact then the tense of the reported speech will not change point to be remember we just now discussed a lot that when the reported verb is in the past tense the tense of the reported speech changes however if the reported speech is talking about any habitual action universal truth or the historical fact or any idiom or a phrase is there then definitely the change of the tense will not happen let's see one example the teacher said said is in the past tense right hard work gives result this is the universal truth right so the gives will not change so the teacher said that hard work gives result so this is there is no change taking place clear 